It all began out west in Freedom City, St. Croix. Of course, we're talking about Emancipation Day. News Channel 8 was small talk with VI Senator Positive Nelson earlier today about the upcoming festivities in Frederickstead. All right, it's all about Emancipation Day. I'm here in Butto Park, and today we start off with Senator Terrence Positive Nelson, who is going to be talking about um, his, his 5 o'clock um, walk and Emancipation Day, what it means here in Freedom City. Thank you very much, Senator. Hey, thank you very much, Wes. Uh, I'm here to let the public know that we'll be having our 7th Annual Fort to Fort Emancipation Day walk. It's a fort to fort walk to freedom. That's what it's called. This is our seventh year having this. And this is to commemorate the task which our ancestors undertook back in 1848 on July 3rd when they walked from all places in the islands, particularly from east to west, to down Center Line Road or Queen Mary Highway to gather right here in Freedom City, Frederickstead to demand from then Governor General Peter Van Scholten that they want to be freed from this form of chattel slavery. Yeah, I think it is important and significant that we mark these days our uh, valiant efforts of our ancestors and I'm hopeful that at some point, and I do have legislation currently uh, stuck in committee, that will mandate that these days are held as days of reverence not only by the public sector but as the private sector. This walk is taking place Thursday morning, July 3rd. It begins at 5 a.m. We will start gathering at 4.30 a.m. Uh, it's a slow, inspirational walk. It's not a power walk, so for those people that might be a little older, you don't have to be afraid of saying uh, that you won't be able to keep up. We also have buses available if you get tired and need to ride for a moment. And we have some fruit, drinks, and snacks on the way. But the idea is that we should have great numbers participate in this mark, in, in this march, because it's important that we let the world see the consciousness of our society here. This is a predominantly black community. We were free from slavery, and we still have uh, roads to travel as it relates to getting through self-governing territory. So we just want to do what these great individuals did, General Bodo and others, in celebrating the Emancipation Day. It's our 160th year, and it's important that we mark these days with such and the walk is one such way to do that, and that will be followed by activities uh, being held by the yesterday, today, and tomorrow's committee. And I'm just happy to participate and encourage others to come out. And the, the numbers are getting bigger, so you want to say you were part of those marches that commemorated such a significant day in our Virgin Islands, not only Virgin Islands, but in black history around the world. All right, and in just a few seconds, we will be going to Miss Mary Moorhead with the schedule of events for the entire emancipation program. I'd like to do this quickly, though, before we leave you, Senator. We have a lot of black on black crime young uh, black people being put in the grave almost every other day. What message would you like to put out, especially from Freedom City and Emancipation Day weekend? What message do you want to put out to the young brothers and sisters out there um, for today? I'm glad that you asked that. This year we have a t-shirt with a quote on it from a Terry Tempest Williams. And she states, the eyes of the future are looking back, back at us and they are praying for us to see beyond our own time. What I would like to say to our young black men, women, and just blacks in general, here we were worried at one point about being distinguished by others. Here we are now doing the work of those people we call the white supremacists and others who want to eliminate us, that we're helping the task of eliminating ourselves from the opportunities for jobs, from the opportunities for life, and it's important that we see the struggles of our ancestors and the significance of days of such and stop perpetuating these crimes against one another and continue to build up and uplift our community so that we can be an example of what black America can be and should be where we're living in a more in more harmony. There's no place else in America has over 78 percent blacks. And here we are destroying what we have and having the world laugh at us. So think about that. Let it resonate within you and uh, see how you can come forward and be positive uh, to the community and to each other because I, I too uh, ache when I see what's happening amongst our young blacks in particular, our young black men. Thank you, Senator. Once again, we will be going to Mary Moorhead next for the entire emancipation program. Here in Freedom City, Butto Park, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Freedom!